So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code this side. In this video, we are going to discuss the question minimum cost to fill given weight in a bag. So what does the question say? You haven't filed with the bag. You have a bag with you, and initially it is empty. Initially it is empty. That is the weight inside it is zero, right? Now you have been given some packets in an array, right? So suppose your array is twenty, ten. 4, 50, 100. This is your array, right? Now, these arrays are actually corresponding to the cost. This is a cost array, right? So, the indexing of this array looks something like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? Now, it says at index 0, this 20 is actually corresponding to the weight of 0 plus 1. It is corresponding to weight 1 kg. It is corresponding to weight 2 kg. It is corresponding to weight 3 kg. It is corresponding to weight 4 kg. It is corresponding to weight 5 kg. Right? I hope that is clear to you. 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg, 5 kg. In in short, it is one base indexing weights. One base indexing weights. Right? Now, the uh, it is a key component here is that you have an inf inf infinite supply of every weight. You have infinite supply of every weight. Infinite supply. Right? of any element of the array. Secondly, it is mentioned that you have if suppose cost of i that is a ith element it is given as minus 1. If cost of ith element is given as minus 1 that means that i plus 1 weight is not an option for you that you cannot choose a weight of i plus 1 kg right. These are the two things you have to keep in mind. Now your task is to give me the minimum cost the minimum cost to fill given that weight in a bag that means that form all the combinations form all the combinations form all the combinations right of weight equals to equals to w which is your input weight equals to equals to w right after that calculate all the cost calculate all the costs right of the combinations of combinations now give me the minimum among them give me minimum cost among them give me minimum cost among them it is also given that if that uh, if it is not possible if it is not possible it is not possible to get a weight exactly w to get a weight exactly w in that case return minus 1 in that case return minus 1 suppose you have been given an array of only 1 20 right you have to find a uh, combination of this like cost array is this okay so that means you have only 1 kg packet supply and each cost is 20 and suppose now you have to give me a weight of uh, let's say 0.5 or let us say it is minus 1 here right the best case is minus 1 that is no no supply there is no supply of the uh, packets right so in that case you will have to return minus one only right if it is not possible to get exactly w weight right now how will i do how will i do it how will i do it so i will follow the question the question says form all the combination right so 20 10 4 50 100 is my array let me write it down here 20 10 4 100 50 right is my array right now 0 1 2 3 4 are the indexes and the weights corresponding are 1 2 3 4 5 that is the weight equals to index plus 1 just keep in mind this is an important pointer here weight equals to index plus 1 what will i do because i have to explore all the cases i will be using the help of recursion because i have to use all the cases so recursion because exploring all cases exploring all cases now how will i proceed how will i proceed so I will be starting from the zeroth index as usual. I will be starting from zero index. Suppose I'm at zero index, and I want to get a weight of let's say uh, five. I want to get a weight of total weight of let's say five. Right now I want the weight of five. I, there are two options with me. Either I can choose this weight, or I can not choose this weight. Either I can choose this weight, or I can not choose this weight. How will I do it? So if I choose this weight, that means I will go to the index one. But I will be subtracting 0 plus 1 from 5. I will be subtracting 0 plus 1 from 5. 0 plus 1. That means 5 will become 4 now. And here, 
If I don't choose it, I will go to 1 but the weight will remain same. Also tick represents so that, that I will add the cost of choosing it. I will add the cost of choosing it. So it will be 20 here. Now I would like to ask you, is it correct? No. Why is it not correct? Because I said that there is an infinite supply. There is an infinite supply. That means if I select it, if I select it, I can still select it. So it will remain on zero. But if I don't select it, that means I don't want certain packet and I will go to the next index, right? So it is 0, 0,4 and 1, 1,5 and I will add 20 to it after returning the call. Now 0, 0,4 again has two options. What are the two options? I can either take it or not, not take it. If I take it, I will add 20 and I will remain at index 0 with 3 weight. If I don't take it, it will go to the index 1 with the weight of 4 only, right? Right. Moving on, 0, 0,3, again two options. I will take a weight of 20, remain 0 and 2 here. Or I will go to 1 with index, I will go to 1 with, uh, with weight remaining 3, right? Otherwise, 0, 0,2, again two options. Same index, 20 here, right? Otherwise, 1, 0,2. Now, it will be, if I take it, it will be 0, 0,0. 0, 0, 0. And I can also go, don't go. So 0, 0 will actually get me 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, is this possible? Is this combination ever possible? Is this combination ever possible? Now, like we know that we are moving left to right, right? We are moving our recurrence left to right, correct? And now if we are moving left to right, that means index is increasing in every term. Index is increasing in every term. And now I want, I know that weight equals to index plus one. Weight equals to index plus one. If at any point weight is greater than the target weight, weight is greater than the target weight, return in, in a 1 in 9. That is, it is not possible. That is, it is not possible, right? So it is 1 plus 1 is giving me 1. 1 plus 1 is actually 2. 2 is greater than 1. So I will return 1, 1 in 9. Now here the weight has 0 that means I will be turning 20 now I will be turning 20 because I have achieved a weight of equals to 0 20 and 1 in 9 I will choose the minimum because I wanted the minimum cost so it will, it will go 20 it will be 40 here right move uh, scrolling about 1 comma 2 scrolling about 1 comma 2 how will it occur so I can take it it will go to 2 with a weight of 0 or it will remain at oh, it will go to it, oh, it will go to 1 with uh, weight 0 it will go to 2 with the weight of 2 right again 2 comma 2 again not feasible 1 in 9 from here but 1 comma 0 i will be adding the index of 1 that is 4 in the above array that is 10 sorry 10 in the above array uh, 10 here it will be running a 10 out of 40 and 10 this index will choose 10 10 plus 20 gives me 30 here 1 comma 3 i have to explore 1 comma 3 if i take it then i will be subtracting 2 from it so it will go to 1 comma 1 if i don't take it it will go to 2 comma 3 Again, 1 comma 1, not possible as it as discussed here. So it will be returning 1 in 9 directly from here. But 2 comma 3 has two options still remaining. That is, it will go to the same index with the value of 0 or it go to the another index that is 3 with the value of 3. Again, not possible 1 in 9, right? 2 comma 0 is actually returning. So 2 index is uh, 4 here. So I will be returning 4. Talking about this, it will return 4 because 4 is the minimum. 1 in 9 and 4, which I will choose. I will choose 4. So I will be returning 4 here. 30 and 4, which I will choose? I will choose 4 here. 4 plus 20, 24. Scrolling about 1 comma 4. Again, two options. I remain at same index by subtracting 2 from it. 1 comma 2 comes here. I go at the another index that is 2 comma 4. Right? And now the tree will continue. The tree will continue. As you can see, 1 comma 2 is actually turning 10. 1 comma 2 was actually turning 10. It will be returning 10 only. Is there a case of 2 comma 4? No, there is not a case of 2 comma 4, but I'm not going to draw the whole recursion tree. My op, my uh, my approach of uh, showing this tree was that 2 comma 4 is existing here. Sorry, 1 comma 2 is existing here, and 1 comma 2 is existing here as well. That is overlapping sub problems. Overlapping sub problems. What does that mean? I write the code for, code for recursion and then just memoize it. That is apply dp to it right my whole aim for you to draw the recursion tree was to show you that memoization is possible here because of the overlapping sub problems now how will the recursion look like so recursion is actually very simple what will i do suppose i make a helper function 
I will take the index I currently want to explore. Cost array is with me, and I will take the target weight. Let me name it as target only, right? So now my base case is if my target becomes zero at any point of time, that means I have achieved the weight I wanted. I will simply return zero here. I will simply return zero, right? Otherwise, else if index is greater than equals to cost dot size, that is no indexes are left now, or my index plus one is actually greater than target. That is after uh, like I cannot explore any uh, I cannot take any weight because it has already gone above the target and it is not possible for me. In that case, both reads return one in nine. That is it is not feasible. So gave you a very high value that is not achievable. Moving on the recurrence case. The recurrence case say, states that if let us say int a b, I will say if a uh, cost of index is not equal to minus one that is a packet is an option for us and index plus one is less than equal to target this is just a safety step otherwise it has been rolled out here only right what will i do i will say a equals to first at the cost so cost of index plus solve for same index because i have infinite supply so same index with target minus index minus plus one it will be in bracket minus index plus one right otherwise you can always choose b option b option is for not take that is solve for index index plus one sorry index plus one and target because you have not chosen so target will remain same now your task is to return minimum so i will return minimum of a comma b now we discussed that there is a dp problem but i will see that what are changing here index is a change here target is a change here right two things are two things are changing so i will be creating a 2d dp two things are changing so 2d dp if dp of index target minus 1 target equals to equals is not equals to minus 1 in that case return dp in target return dp index target moving on at the time of return you can easily say that dp of index target equals to minimum of ab now what is the size of dp array it will be index that is n plus 1 and target which has which whatever is given to you target plus 1 right so you can see that uh, your time complexity is o of n o of n into target o of n into target weight right and the space complexity is also same tc and sc both are equals to this right so i hope the problem was clear to you i know that you have to get the previous approach of recursion and dp right but see i i believe that you are on the same level as like all of that right so now let's go to the code all right so here is the coding section let me write down the code for you very fast but i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel if we have not you already subscribed because see i i know that you are liking the stuff that's why you're still remaining and please 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 do support me in my journey and thank you for like watching up till now moving on first i will create a vector of vector int that is the dp array i want to create n plus one and vector of int now here it is given as w so i will take w plus one or fill with values minus one right this is my dp array n plus one w plus one as discussed moving on my answer will be solve for uh, index zero cost array i will send target weight is w right now right and this send the dp at last right if my answer is greater than equals to one in nine that means i have al always uh, returned one in nine in the case of not possible so in that case answer will change to minus one and now you can simply return your answer right let me write down the solve function for you for, for you so int solve what is it taking it is taking the index current index it is taking the vector of cost the vector int and cost it is taking the target weight and it is taking the uh, dp array so vector of vector int and dp right moving on what is the solve function defining the solve function if my weight is equal to equal to zero at any point of time in that case it turns zero because you have achieved the target weight but if my index is greater than equals to cost dot size or the other case is if my index plus one is greater than w in that case return one in nine because it is not not now possible to get a weight that satisfies the condition right now if my dp of index with the current weight is not equals to minus one in that case the case has already been explored and i will use the same value moving on int a comma b 
A is for take and B is for not take. A, oh, it will be 0 here and 0 here. Right? Not 0. Okay. So if cost of index is not equals to minus 1, that is, it is a feasible value right and the second condition was if index plus 1 was less than equal to w this case this index plus 1 is less than w is uh, omittable because i have already checked it here right moving on what will happen a is equals to cost of index plus solve for index plus 1 with cost w w minus index plus 1 because i have used the weight right and dp sorry it will not be index plus 1 it will be index because there is an infinite supply right Moving on to B. B is equals to solve for index plus 1 because I have not chosen this. So cost W and DP. And at last update your DP array. So return DP of index W is equals to because I have to, I have to choose the minimum value. So minimum of A comma B. Right. And now you can just return the answers and it should work. Let us try to compile and run it. Hope it will work fine. And it is running. It should not give any error, I guess. It is running fine. Let us try it for submit as well. In the meantime, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. You can see the streak of 165 days. Thank you for watching, and we'll meet again tomorrow. Till then, please stay watching and stay tuned and keep coding. Okay, keep practicing. Thank you. Have a nice day.